Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio, and today I am working on my mission inspiration for February. So that will explain the color. <laughs> um, the mission inspiration for February included what colors? Red, pinks. You now the theme was love is in the air, and um, one of the word prompts was together. So I found this quote that was, best friends always stick together, and decided that that was going to be my underlying theme. Now with Mission Inspiration, they don't, he doesn't do the prompts anymore. So I was kind of stuck at where to start, and I have some prompt dice that I made using um, some prompts from Gina B. Aaron's and some blocks from the dollar store and so I just shook those and picked one out of there and it said add washi so I picked all my pink and red sort of washi tape and decided I would just cover the entire background with washi and it was kind of a long process I don't make you watch all of the adding of the washi but you get the idea. So once I had them all stuck down, I'm gonna go over it a little bit. I put way too much, but with matte medium, just to secure it all down, just to make sure it doesn't come up, and hopefully that will do it. Um, like I said, I put way too much on there. <laughs> um, so I end up you know, scraping a little bit of it off. You don't need to flood the whole thing like I just did. <laughs> All right, so I've got a couple of paints. I've got white and I can't remember which. I know it's a red. It looks kind of orange-ish on my screen. I'm not sure how red it looks to you guys, but um. When I added the white, it looked a lot pinker than it looks on the screen. It does look a little orange, but anyway. So I decided to finger paint around this. I'm just creating a background. And then hopefully, by the time I get the background done, I will have an idea for my focal point. We hope. So after I get that part down, I'm feeling it looks kind of, you know, it's at that ugly stage, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling it's kind of blah, so I decide to add some blocks of color. I do some blocks of red, and then I start making patterns with the white. Just to make it more interesting. And hopefully... This will all work out in the end. Thank you. 
it's still still in the ugly stage so I'm adding some black I have this triangle piece of corrugated cardboard that I've peeled one side off and it makes some interesting lines so I thought that would help make some contrast and um, hopefully make this more interesting you know and I do all this and in the end you're not gonna see a lot of this um, this video is kind of long, so I've sped it up quite a bit. I hope you don't mind. You can always, you know, go to the gear and slow it down um, if you want to see it in real time. But I think it's pretty, pretty clear what I'm doing. And this is just a piece of round plastic canvas, and I'm dipping into the white and adding a little bit more pattern to the background. So now I've I've created these figures and. Um, these are going to be the friends. I'm trying to decide where to place them. Since this is a two page, I don't want the figure right in the middle of the seam. But I don't want them both on one side because I want to spread it out a little bit. So we'll just put them just off the sides. And I'm using a Stabilo pencil, which means um, it will mix with whatever I add to it because it's water soluble. You know, it's that white area of the paint on her shoulder doesn't hold the pencil very well. And I'm going to do the background in white so that spot gets a little tricky. So this is what I'm doing is negative painting. So I'm going to white out the background and all that pattern will be on the two girls. So I'm giving her a second coat, or giving the background a second coat of white, just to make sure those figures stand out. And you can see how when I was going around them, it kind of um, catches that stabilo. I don't, I don't mind that. I don't want it too much, but I don't mind a little bit of that. Creates a little bit of natural sort of shading around the figures.
Okay, so here I decided they they were a little flat, so I'm going to take that Stabilo again and go around it and then um, use that to create some shading. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Leave me a comment and say you made it most of the way through or all the way through. Um, <laughs> I know it's kind of a long video, but I didn't want to edit it out too much or speed it up like crazy. So I hope you're enjoying the videos I create, and I really appreciate your likes and your comments and um, subscribing. I'm grateful for all my subscribers who come back and watch my videos. I really appreciate it. Oh, one of the colors on the Mission Inspiration prompt was gold, so I figured I would add gold stars. And then I decide to add gold kind of everywhere. Well, not. Well, as an outline, accent, outline, around the figures. <laughs> um, I don't know, once you start painting with something shiny, it's like you want shiny everywhere. But it looks better. In limited quantities I think but I did go around the figures with a little bit of just kind of brushy sketchy sort of gold halo I guess <laughs>
going around the edges just to kind of frame it a little bit. And it's about finished and I'll have a couple of close-up shots. Um, you'll see the more accurate color, I think, in the photos at the end. Not quite as orange. But I hope you liked that. If you did, please leave me a comment so I know you were here. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you are new to my channel and would like to see more, please subscribe. And thanks for watching.